A very good morning to you, our viewers. This is a, a daily encounter, and we bless the Lord for your tuning. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, thank you for your love and care. Thank you for your blessings that knows no boundaries. Thank you for your omnipresent. You're here with us. You're everywhere. You're with our viewers. Pray the Lord you'll speak to us. Uh, for this, our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. I believe you've said amen with me. Our friends, we began a series yesterday uh, on uh, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Mark. And today, I would wish that we reflect on the theme, the good news. We welcome you in our day two, so our systematic study of the gospel according to St. Mark. The gospel of Mark begins with an intentional statement as recorded in the book of Mark, chapter 1 and verse 1. Listen to this. This is the good news about Jesus Christ the Son of God. In this statement, Jesus is presented to us as a man of action and authority. Like we shall see, his authority is seen in his teaching, in his power over demons, and in forgiving people sin. Over and above, in his power over, you know, over death, and uh, that is resurrection. The introductory statements reveal to us the force behind Jesus Christ, the authority of God, the Father. God is seen as a promise keeper since we see St. Mark. First quoting from Isaiah the prophet, when prophet Isaiah prophesied that God will send his messenger ahead of Jesus to clear the way for him. The promise is seen fulfilled through John the Baptist, who appears in all the synoptic gospels as a peace setter and therefore plays a major role in setting the stage, or rather the ground, for the coming of the Messiah. That is our Lord Jesus Christ. John the Baptist preached the gospel of repentance and forgiveness. He states in verse 4 of John, I mean of Mark chapter 1. So John appeared in the desert baptizing and preaching this Turn away from your sins and be baptized. It is recorded in verses 5 that many people from the provinces of Judea and the city of Jerusalem went out to hear John. They confessed their sins and he baptized them in the river Jordan. This is the same river that Jesus was baptized. So, friends, as we come to a conclusion of our continuous systematic study of the gospel according to St. Mark, I want to uh, draw your attention into this question. Is there any good news in your life currently? Do you believe in Jesus Christ and in the power of resurrection? Do you believe in God, the promise keeper? I welcome you to the joy of good news of our salvation as introduced to us by St. Mark. And friends, how do we attain the good news? One, by hearing the word of God. People were drawn from all corners, from Judea and all around, to just come hear the good news from John the Baptist. Number two, we will receive the good news when we continue confessing our sins for forgiveness. Confession is what draws us close to God when he sees the remorsefulness in us and of course blesses us and forgives us our sins. Number three, we attain the good news by acquiring baptism just like we are instructed by John the Baptist. Not just for religious fulfillment but as an assurance of acquiring an eternal kingdom through our continuous walk and work of our faith in Jesus Christ our Lord. Friends, this is the good news of our salvation. Remember that God loves you. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit.